Starting the Shir on Simon Kuf Chaf Gimel. I'm going to discuss some of the Seifim that are relevant to this, to this, uh, to this Simon. Some of the things that we're going to discuss were already discussed, um, already discussed prior, prior to um, in other Shurim in past years, um, but I'll still go through it again. Some things were discussed prior in Shurim this year. We're still going to go through it because I think it's important. Now, and this is going to be the last year because already is going to be a test at the end of this week. The simon pretty much discusses when a get is supposed to be written. That's the end of the simon. The writing Shabbos, Yom Kippur, Chalem, uh, Yom Tev. The beginning of the simon is who is the right person who could write a get? So who is the right person who could write a get? As if Aleph Bey is Gimel, who could write a get? And who, if somebody writes a get, and he is the wrong person who writes the get, what's the dinner of the get? I'm going to focus on who is and who isn't um, kosher to write a get. So Sif Aleph begins that Goy Evet Cheresh, Sheite, Vekotan are all um, possible, are all not kosher to write a get. Sif Bey is a Mumer or a Mechal Shabbos of Hesia. Who is considered like a guy is well. He's considered like a guy. We already mentioned the guy in Sif Aleph, so he's not allowed to write a get either. However, a woman could write her own get. That's a befeder shegemar. That isha, a woman could write her own get. Elamai comes to the whole discussion if she has to be makne to her husband, um, uh, the paper before or the get at the end. But it's clear she has to. And the way Rashi understands it over there is that she is makna to him the get, and then she could be misgarish with him. She writes the get, and then she's makna the get to him, and then she is misgarish with this get. So from Rashi, it's pretty clear that it's done, that it's done um, afterwards. According to Rabbi Yerucham, she has to be makna the paper and the ink before she starts writing. Um, and we do not say what we said previously that hiknu chachamim, schar soifer, laisha, etc., la baal, that the chachamim were makne, or the paper and the ink, the chachamim were makne, so there shouldn't be a shayla of igun. We don't say it when the wife herself is the one that is writing writing um, the get. That's how the Bisayasib explains it. So in this case, what since. Huh? Uh, what? Quite to everyone, yeah, yeah. That's the who explains it. Now, we know that the Kosav, the Kosav, Sefer Christus, the Nosan Beyado, and we know the halacha that it can't be Machus and Maise between the Ksiva and the Nesina. So, therefore, if it's written on a tree or something of the sort that has to be cut, the get is not kosher. So, here you have between the Ksiva and the Nesina, you have a Haknoe, Maise. Of Kenyan, which transfers the ownership from one person to another. So, how could it be that you have a problem? You know, you're not going to have a Kosav and Venosan. The Ran says it's not a problem because of here you're not doing a Maisa, but Gufa shall get. If you're doing with a Maisa and a Gufa shall get, like cutting the get, cutting the edges, or whatever has to be done, like cutting it off a tree, then you have then it's a Maisa, but Gufa shall get. So, you have a Shaila of that, you have a problem that there's, there's a Hefsik. That there is a, a that it's that that's mechuser ma'aseh between ksiv and sinna. Over here, there's no ma'aseh begufa and therefore there's no issue of the kosav and venosa. The next shaila is: could it, does the husband have to appoint her to write the get? Because we know a sefer has to be appointed. We know the machlekes if a sefer has to be appointed because it's midin shlechos that the sefer is a shleich of the husband, or it's midin that it has to be done lishma. Um, over here, the Rameh writes that the husband has to tell her, be metzava her, to write the get. And without it, it's nothing. It's as if a get was not, was not, um, was nothing b'chandal. And, uh, and this is brought down to the Yosef, and the Mitla Rebbe summarizes it, the Mitla Rebbe adds to it, obviously because the Rameh holds that the Kosav is Medin Shlichus. Since the Kosav is Medin Shlichus, so not Medin Lishma, so therefore he, in the, he requires that the Kosav has to be with a Minui from the husband. The Akimoyshe writes on this Rameh that the Ran does not seem to imply the same as 
the Rameh, because the Ran follows the same shit as Rashi, that you're magnet after the writing. That's the only thing that it says. The only requirement that the Ran says is that you should be magnet after, after the writing. It doesn't say you have to be uh, no tzivuyim or nothing beforehand. The Rameh, not the Ramo. Yeah, no, and he says also that the Ran holds like traces that's not done to do with Din Shluchus. <coughs> However, the Mashmos and the Mechaber is that the Paskins like the Rameh over here because he's the Lashon of the Mechaber is Im Amar La Baal Kosvoy, Im, if she, if the husband tells her she could write it, which means that he Paskins that you do, Paskins like the Rameh, that there has to be a a a tzivu. Now the Beis Yosef, when he quotes the Rameh, writes in the, on the Rameh, "Vanim pshutimay." So pash tezach that there has to be a tzivu from the husband. The Bach says it's not pasha to me. Why does he think it's so pasha? The kosav is not on the husband; it's on the sefer, like Tzivu says. It's within the Shema. So how could the how could the Mechaber how could the Beis Yosef say it's vanim pshutimay? She knows how to do it, Lishma. It is Lishma. She's writing it for her own sake. That's, we'll call it the highest level of Lishma. Nobody else knows better than her what's good for her. So obviously that you don't, that, that the Vikasav in this scenario would not require, would not require any, any tzivuis. The Bach says maybe the Chachamim wanted to, to, to find for, not to say that the Besies of Paskins like one Shemachriya, like one Shita against Eswes, like the the Bach says that the reason of it is because maybe Chachamim wanted it should be publicized that it should be Lishma. And that's why the Rameh required the, the that's why the Rameh required that it should be with a Tzivui. Because when there is a Tzivui, it's Nisparsem, there's Pritisem that it is Lishma. But if there's no tzivui, then even though you don't have the issue of lishma, you don't have the still and have the pirsum the chachamim required, and therefore you cannot. And therefore it's a problem. That's what the Ramez says. You should, you should do it. Yeah, not like the not like the middle Rebbe writes in the name of that the Ramez holds um, that the Ramez holds that the reason for the Ramez is because the Taka holds that midin shluchos. So now the Bach says, "Hey Bazo, if it's midin pirsum." And you have the Ada get over there. They're going to sign on the get. And she's writing the get. And she will tell the, the Adem, I'm writing the Shema. And therefore, and therefore it will be a Pirsum. And she and it will be a kosher get. And uh, the Bach says it's a good sware, but Lamaisa in such a scenario she's suffering Megoreshes because there is no Hachro on such a such a huh? So, yeah, Pesafik Mugresh, Mr. Rabban. The Chalakas Mechoikik brings the Rameh, brings the Bish Yosef that says it Dvarim Shotim Heim, brings the Bach that had a hard time with it, and says there is no place for the Safik of the Bach. It's obviously Pashat like the Bish Yosef, like the Bish Yosef explains it. That's how Chalakas Mechoikik explains it. The Bish Shmuel takes the approach that it, that the Beis Shmuel Lashitase mentioned this machlek three, four times already in the Beis Shmuel from the beginning of the Chazgitin. That it depends on that this is this is totally in the machlekes if the kasev is midin shluchus and the kasev is midin of of lishma and therefore since the Rama holds that the kasev is, is, is about the husband so therefore he requires that there should be a full a full uh, a full minui. And therefore, the Bach that was busy trying to fit the Rameh and the Teisvis together, Herich Bechinam has just wasted his time, so to speak, being Marich to try and find for them, because in Bepayol, the Rameh holds a different shit. So then the Bishmo has a problem, because Teisvis, according to Shittas Teisvis, the Braise says, and if there's no Minui, they get his bottle, the Chayret only chashash mid Rabbanon, and the uh, Bishmul says remains in Tzarechiyon. The Bishmul remains in Tzarechiyon. Bishmul doesn't hold anything. Bishmul brings that the Rameh holds that's midin shlichos, not midin, not like Taisus. Therefore, 
you don't have to be have a whole arichas like the Bach that you have to find for it to fit the Raman Taisus. Because there are two op- there are two opposing opinions of because of. He says then there's a brisa where it's mashma to get this bottle. And if the brisa is mashma to get this bottle, main does that it's not a soft, not a shail of derabanan like lishma, like Taisus. So he has a cash on Taisus, and the Bishmul leaves in Sarichyun, tries for entering it and leaves it as a Tsarichyun. Um, the pre Chodosh, Paskins, huh? Chagaz Mechoykek doesn't say who he holds. The Chagaz Mechoykek just says that he pass, it's obvious like that, Ameh, that you need it. Bei Shmuel is the one who says that, that, uh, that it's Medin, that it's Medin, uh, that it's Tolia um, Mechlekes, if, if the Kosov is on the husband, or the Kosov is on the Sefer, if the Kosov is Medin Shluchas, or the Kosov is Medin Lishma. Brichodosh Paskins, Lahaloche, that you don't have to be Makne to the husband before the get. Yeah, just want to point out, that's how he paskins. It's how he understands the mechaber to paskin also. In get poshut. The get poshut, if cotton gimel over here, brings a maharshach. The maharshach is, is, is medayik from a rashba. What does the rashba say? Is that if she was not makna, the dioy and the niyar and the klaf, to the husband before. Rather, only Maknet afterwards. And even afterwards, she wasn't really Maknet to, to him. She just gave it to him. There was no actual Hakno, like give it to him and tell him, raise it, that it should become yours. She's still Megurashis. Why does the... does the... the Marshach is Medaktik from the Rajva that the Chachamim were Maknet, schar, schar, or the materials of the Seifer, to the Isha, even when the Isha herself also does it. But the uh, Prichadr says this doesn't make any sense because according to Mechaber over here, according to the Rashi, Iran, Teisvah, Stuart, everybody, if there's no clear Akno, there is no get. Because all of them says you're Makne, Makne, she's Makne to the Baal, and the Lotion is uh, that she has to be Makne to the, the get to the husband, and then she's, then she's Ms. Gadesh's boy. So obviously it means the Chachamim were not Mesak and this over here, not like the way the Manashach. The Getposha just points out that there is somebody who does hold the Manashach is Medak and the Rashba. The Rashba holds that there is the Din of Akna, Mitzad Igun, that was done in other scenarios, applies also when the wife is the same one who is also writing the Get. <coughs> the Taz, when he discusses it over here, comes with a brilliant Mahalach which solves a lot of the problems. It's, and it's uh, and he gives us a short ter- a short tirutz to the whole to the whole discussion. He says, "What's the problem with the wife writing the get without tivui habal? It's not a shy, It's not nothing to do with uh, lishma. Nothing to do with shlichus. Very simple. The get doesn't have to be only written lishma. Also has to be written lishmoi. Meila lishma is taken care of because." She's the one that's writing it. She's not writing it lishma. But if he's not the one who's saying it, then there's no lishmoi. There's no lishmoi. You still have a problem. You still have a problem. Um, Why is he doing lishmoi? No, but he doesn't. Have, he doesn't. The minui, the the, the the when when the husband says it, that makes it lishmoi. Doesn't it? that? There has to be a minui from the husband that it should be lishmoi. That means the minui of the husband is lishmoi velishma. Not just Lishma. He says, if it will be only the Minu, only be Lishma, then the fact that she's writing it is solved. But if the, for the Lishma, you still need his, his Minu to tell her, because he's the one giving the get. So if there would no, be no need for Lishma, only Lishma, then it will be enough if, he, if, she, if, she gives, if she gives the get. If she writes the get, Lishma. But since you also need, since he's the one giving it, you also need it to be lishmoi. Therefore, you have to have also a minui from him. The Ramo continues and says, after he says that the wife could write a get, says the the husband should not write the get. This is he brings it from the Bishyasef. The Bishyasef himself brings Hashem the Kundresim and the Rajba. Not only should the husband not write the get, the husband shouldn't even tell the husband how to write the get. Husband should sit quietly and not tell the husband, write like this, write like that. 
What's the reason that the Bishy Yosef brings for that? You shouldn't tell a Sefer how to write it. The reason that the Bishy Yosef brings is he says, because if you look at the end of Simen Kuf Chavav in Tor, there's a whole Kuf Chavav brings you lists and lists of problems that you could have in the get, missing a letter, missing a word, das, and yens, all these kinds of things. And then the Tur concludes that call adikdukim, all these dikdukim that we mentioned, that are shayla, that we say that the get is kosher, are only po- or the get is possible, are only if the husband is the one who writes the get or the one who orders to write the get. Why? Because we're chayshish that afterwards he's going to come and say, ah, the reason I skipped this word is because I had in mind I wanted to mess up the get. But if a sefer writes the get, then you don't have this problem because the sefer's not planning on messing it up. So if a sefer writes and there's a shayla in the get, she's kosher and she can be misguided. But if the husband writes it, or the husband is the one who's telling the sefer how to write it, then you have a chashash that he's doing it all to mess her up, to be mechalkal her, so he shouldn't be able to have a kosher get. So therefore, the Bishy Yosef says, because of this, don't let the husband write the get. Now that's what Machaik says. The Prichadosh also says that. The Taz says, I don't understand what this is all about. That's a Bishy Yosef. The Ramah says the husband shouldn't write it. The, the Ramah brings it to the Besyesef. The Besyesef explains the reason. The Chalkas Mechaygik and the Pri Chodosh Paskin like the Ramah. The Mechaber didn't bring it here. He only brought it to the Besyesef. He didn't bring it here. The Ramah is the one who added it. The Pri Chodosh and the Chalkas Mechaygik Paskin, yeah, the husband shouldn't write it again. The Taz says, I have absolutely no idea where this Chumla came from. Whether you say the Kosav, applies to the husband. Or you say the kosav applies to the din of the soifer and lishma, it's obvious that this Torah was not memayed the husband from running it. If the kosav is medin shluchos, for sure the husband is better than the soifer. If the kosav is medin lishma, the husband is not no less than the soifer. And therefore he says, I don't see what the chumrah is that the husband should write to get. If the husband is able to write to get, let him write to get himself. And he says, yes, I saw what the Bishy Yosef says that it's based on the Torah at the end of Simon Kuf Chavav, all the Diktukim, if the husband writes it, it creates a problem. If the Sefer writes it, it doesn't create a problem. Taz says it's not a good enough reason. And therefore, he does not hold of this Psaq of the Ramah that a husband cannot write the get. Which means if there's a situation where the only person is the husband, the only one can write the get, according to the Taz, it should be kosher. That's about the husband. The Ramah continues in Sefal, the name of Marik, that also a Karev. Lechatchile should not write the get. What's the reason for it? The Chalkas Machaikik says, this is based on the Marik. The Chalkas Machaikik says, what the Marik says, the reason the Marik is, because if a Karev is going to be writing the get as a cipher, it's going to come, people are going to see it, and they're going to say, hey, if a cipher could be a Karev, Adim could also be Kravim, and Adim is for sure. It's for sure possible um, to write, to sign on a get. It's possible the get becomes possible. Adam have to be kosher Adam. But a cipher, he says, L'chatchila, you shouldn't do it. So he says, that's why it's only L'chatchila. But, but the Eved or Bishas Atchak, um, you don't, uh, the Marik says it's not a problem if a Karev writes it. The Vesyasef is the one who brings this Marik. And he says, this is not even, a, this is not, this Chashash is so far-fetched that even me Yois Toiv, that the uh, Marik says that it's better to do it that way, still not enough of a reason to, uh, to reason. The Besyesef brings the, this, the Marik. The Ramah takes it from the Besyesef. The Ramah brought all the things the Besyesef quoted and didn't bring into Shulchan Aruch. And the Ramah brings this Marik, and, but the Besyesef who brought this Marik says it's not even a good enough reason. Chalakas Mechalik brings the reason of the Marik and also mentions the Besyesef holds it's not a problem. And L'chayra, that's the reason. The Bishesif didn't mention it over here. But if you look at the end of Hilchas Gittin, after Simon Kuf Nundalad, you have a Seder Aget. Two Seder Agets. You have one Seder Aget of the Bishesif, um with Ramok comments on it and Pischa 
Yeah, that was added much later. And you have another Seder Aget of Maramri. The Seder Aget of the Bish Yosef, in Ois Beis, the Mechaber is the one who writes, Yasmin Soifer, Ushnei Eidim, She'enam Kroivim Zelaze, Loi Lebaal, Loi Leisha. That's the Lashon of the Bish Yosef. So if you read it simply, it means Yasmin Asoifer, the Seifer, the Yasmin that you have to, the, the Rav should, should bring, should hire, a Seifer and two Adam who are not related to, 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 to the husband, to the wife. That's how the Get Pashut over here in Sifkat and he understands it. And, and uh, he brings it here, he says, that's what the Bishesif writes. He says that uh, ultimately the Tam of the Ma'arik is a Tam Kolosh. But he still brings it. But if you read it, you don't have to understand this this Beis Yosef over here, that the Beis Yosef changed his mind and said to him, like the Marik. You could put the commas in other places, and you could read it differently. Yasmin, Seifer. Hire a Seifer. O shnei edim shenu kreivim zelah zev leil ba'av leil isha. And two edim were not related to each other, to the, or to the husband, to the wife. I'm telling you this. Now, and you ask me where to have an eye for this. Because in Seder Haget of Maramri, <coughs> that's right after that Seder Haget, the, the later Seder Haget, which is the one we use today, in, Sif, in Seder Getrishin, he actually splits it into two. In Simon Hay of Seder Getrishin, he says, Yasmin, Yasmin Araf Seifer Edim. End of sentence, end of Sif. Sivav, he says, that the Edim, that's supposed to be craving, Zelza. So I say that get Amri obviously understood it that way. So that's my marker. And therefore, you don't have to create a situation that the Bishyes have suddenly decided to be Mahmoud like the Marik after he quotes the Marik, says he doesn't like his reason, doesn't bring him in the Shulchan Aruch, and then suddenly in the Seder Aged, you'd say he's going to change his mind. Happens to be that Amma mentions the same din that the Sefer should not be related, also in Simon Kuflamit, Sif Aleph. And over there, in Simen Kuf Lamed, you have a Pischa Tshuva, which explains the reason. Over here, the Pischa Tshuva tells you, go look at Simen Kuf Lamed. In Simen Kuf Lamed, the Pischa Tshuva, Sifkot and Beis, brings from a Sefer Yeshua Siakov on these halachas. That the reason is because you have a halacha that it says, the Machlekes of Kosav, Sefer, Vo'ed, Kosher or not. The Sefer wrote and then signed. Is one of the Adam, is it kosher or not? And there are shit that says, hold, it's kosher, but you have it. Which means that the cipher is also considered like an aid. And if the cipher is also considered like an aid, you have to be machmir by a cipher, just like you're machmir by Adam, and therefore it cannot be a karev. And therefore, that's the reason why the Shir Yaakov says, that's the reason why you should be machmir. But the, but the Pischat Shuvah says, only the Chatechila. But the Eved, you don't... Uh-huh. You have three Adam signs. One of them is the Pasuk. It's a whole, it's a machlekes, it's a If you have an ilchus kedushin also, if you have one Pasuk together with the other two, usually the halach is the Pasuk of everybody. So Pizchah Tshuva says, but you don't have to be makhbed on it. However, the Torah's Gitin in Biurim Sifkot and Beis brings this. Doesn't write Skosher with the Eved. He just brings it as the reason, because it costs of Sefer of Eid. And in Chidushim Sifkot and Dalet, which is shorter than the Biurim, the Teres Gittin says, there is a Chashash Medina. It means there's a Chashash Medina to have a Karev as a Sefer. The Teres Gittin took this Yeshua Siakov as not only the Chatechil, like the Pesach says, but even but the Eved, Creates a shayla if the soifer is a karov. So obviously, if you have a soifer as a karov, you're, you're not going to, to do it. The Igris Moshe came up with a very interesting thing based on this, based on this, uh, on this, uh, on, on this whole discussion. Even as a chilek aleph, simen kuf chof aleph. He says, according to the chilek as mechayke, that you bichlal don't have to, to worry about it. Even, but even the chatechila that the sefer should be a karev. See, so if you have a sefer who's a karev, and you have a sefer who's not a karev, but costs a few dollars more, then you don't have to spend a few dollars. 
But according to Pesach Tshuva, at Lachatchile you should be machmed only with the Eved or if he can't do it or not. So he says if the Seifer is, the Gesmeisha says if the Seifer who's not a Karev is a little bit more expensive, you still have to spend a little extra money to do it. But but still, if it's going to cost a lot more to fly somebody down or whatever it is, if it's not a Karev, then that is already in the category that it's no longer a is no longer a a uh, a lachatchila. In Sif Beis, the Mechaber mentions about a mumor, mechal Shabbos v'farhesia. This puzzle to write. I discussed this topic at length um, last year when we discussed uh, what's considered mechal Shabbos v'farhesia. When it's discussed um, in Hilchas Heirovin, and the year before that when we discussed Nemanos. In in Kashrus, and uh, I'm just going to go through a little bit of the details that I discussed then. So at least you have a complete a complete uh, topic, a complete uh, a complete uh, topic on this on this matter. Yeah, so I'm going to go, the, the, the discussion was in Simon Shin Peihei, in Hilchis Eirovin. Over there was about who can be mevatel reshus, who cannot be mevatel reshus, the karoim, the tzedukim. So over there in Sif Gimel, the Altarev over there says that the Yisrael, who is more of a disorder, mechal Shabbos of Arhesia, even if it's only mechal Yisrael, medivri the Seifim, is considered a goy, and you have to rent reshus, reshus, um, reshus from, from, uh, reshus from here. Reshus from, from him. Now, in Hilchas Ribis, Simonai and Tess, it's Mashman from Al Terebe, the Tinnik Shinishba is not, cons- not similar to a Mumer. Because the Mumer is Yedea Riboy Nehme Chavon Limrit Boy. And even, the Al Terebe says, even if this Tinnik Shinishba later heard it as a Ebeshter and heard everything else, and he saw the Yidin, and he saw their behavior, and he saw their religion, and he still chooses to continue doing it. It doesn't make him oistinik shenishba because he grew up between the goyim and he was a schanek al He was educated according to their, to their, to their, um, to their standards, their religions. Therefore, it's not. He doesn't. He's not considered a mechal shabbos. Over there, the Alter Rebbe also says that if somebody's mechal shabbos one time be'akroi be'alma. When he was dochuk l'fisha, it's not considered a mumer l'chal shabbos b'farhesia. That's in ah. That's what? No, that's in hilchis shabbos and sif gimel hilchis erovin. But in kuntes achan and hilchis shchita, sif simen bay sif cotton yud. Over there, over there, the Alter Rebbe says it was b'farhesia. That he did it in front of Tanyidin, or he, or it's public, or he knew it's going to be public, and even if he only did it once, he already becomes mumor the chol the the chol So you have two different places. We have Tavach what the Alt Why the Alt Rebbe says in Hilchis Erevin that if you did it only once, you don't become a mumor. When Hilchis Shchita and Kutas Achin Alt Rebbe says that you do, that you do. Um, that you do become a mumar. Is it active for someone who is a Tinnik Shinishba? Tinnik Shinishba is not together with a mumar. No, I'm saying for, for Hilchah. What do you mean? No, no, Hetter. Hetter from to Mechal Shabbos? There's no Hetter from anybody to Mechal Shabbos. That's Pikuach Nefesh. If it's a hetter, if it's just a tchak. In the old, when they sent Gitten to America in the, in the 1900s, was, these Shilas came up. And that's when it came to the whole discussion, which I'm getting into now. The Al Yarab over there in Hilchas Eiruvin in Sifkot and Gimel says brings in the Gemara that if you mechal Shabbos with Farhesia, but not you're embarrassed in front of the Nasi, in front of the, it's not considered Farhesia. And the Al Yarab says the same thing is written in in Teiras Chaim. And if you look in Mishnah Brura Sifkot Nevav, it's written like that. Mishnah Brura over there in the Chesed of Nesim and Shin Peihei, it's written clearly in Sifkot Nevav. And in Ginzei Chaim, 
he says that, he says, he asks questions on his Gemara, but he still says, if a person is embarrassed in front of the Nasi, and therefore he's not Mechal Shabbos in front of him, it's not considered, it's not considered, um, it's not considered Beforehesia. In the Tzemach Tzedek, Yeridea, Simen Aleph, Ois Gimel, Shuvus. However, the discussion of the Tzemach Tzedek is if Isim Medera Bon is as strict as Isim Medera Isa. And after a whole pilpul on, on the whole discussion, the Tzemach Tzedek is, is masik, that even if you want to compare the two together, that Chilu Shabbos Medivri Soifrim, Chilu Shabbos Medera Isa is the same, it's only regarding the din of Mechal Shabbos and Farhesia. Because Farhesia is the Indian of Hefka, of Kedis, and Chutzpah, and Zilzul. And your Mechal Shabbos and Farhesia, when you know what you're doing, means that you are fifing on the Ebeshter. So in the gather of being a Chutzpah Yag, there's no difference if it's a Chil Shabbos de Rabbanon or a Chil Shabbos de Raisa. Because by Farhesia, you're basically showing, I don't care about Shabbos. It's not that they're making a deal on if it's the Rabbanon or if it's the Raisa. Yeah, but he says, but that only applies for, for, for Chilu Shabbos. So therefore, so th- there is no difference if once you define somebody's Mechal Shabbos and Farhesia, there's no difference if the Chilu Shabbos is a Mechal Chilu Shabbos is a Chilu Shabbos that Abon the Chilu Shabbos that Rais is a big Mechal because if it's Takaz or not. But we follow some Mechal that it is that that uh, that it is so. Now, if you look in ah, uh, even with the me. Now, if you look in Chidush of Akiva Eger, and you're a day of Simon Kufiutes, he says that if a Mechal Shabbos is a Mechal Shabbos of Farhesi in front of 10 people, who are all, uh, who, all of those are also Mechal Shabbos, it's a catch 22 because all of them are Apostle Aids, nobody's going to be made that, they're, that, that he was Mechal Shabbos of Farhesi, so he leaves it as a question mark. Um, it seems like he's noted that if a person was Mechal Shabbos in front of 10 people, who are also Mechal Shabbos, then he's not because does not become a Mechal Shabbos before Hesi because all possible leaders, which ties into what I said before. If you're embarrassing Mechal Shabbos in front of a Chashav Shemin Shabbos, then you're not really a a uh, a uh, a Mechal Shabbos. In the Tzemach Tzedek, in Eben Oezer, Simon Reish Nun Tes, which is Hilchas Gitten, there's a Shail over there about a get which was kosher mm-hmm. and it had a kosher a soifer. And there was two Edim, and then there was somebody who decided to bashmutz one of the Edim and says that this Edim is possible, Edim is mid Why? Because he sits in his store on Shabbos and sells mashka. And the Tzemach Tzedek says, Taka, we could say that it's possible, Edim is mid um, and he says, but maybe if he's not sitting over there and counting the cash, but he's only sitting and watching what's going on, maybe he's not talking Mechal Shabbos. Maybe he's only... He had to sit in the store. But if he's not, you have no Eidos that he actually sat and counted cash on Shabbos, so you can't say that he's Mechal Shabbos with the Rabbanu. But then Tzemach Tzedek says, I don't, it goes into the question, I don't understand, in Evan in, of in, in, I don't understand why Mechal Shabbos, Medivir Soifrim, Befarhesia has the same, is different than any other Psul Medir Why Mechal Shabbos Befarhesia, Medir we say that he's Mechal Shabbos Befarhesia, he's Pasal And he says, the Taka and Hilchas Eruvin, we are Machmer, the is separate, it's different, but the Indian Eidos, we don't, we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be so machver. Then it's a machzid that goes, it goes even weiter. Could be even with the Rabbanon is not possible Eidos. Because even if Befarhesia means that 10 people know that he's sitting in a store on Shabbos, you don't have 10 people that know if he's carrying coins on Shabbos. You don't know if he's doing Malach on Shabbos. Could be he measured all the beer before Shabbos. It's already pre-measured. And there's no moid, there's not even a derabon. So the whole the whole Befarhesia is only on his the, only, the whole Befarhesia is only in him sitting over there. And Befarhesia on somebody sitting in a store is not enough Befarhesia to consider somebody a, a Mechal Shabbos. 
So to make somebody mechal Shabbos and Farhesia to be able to pass them, sign the right get, the sign on the get, the chulu, the chulu, is a very high bar. Well, very low bar, if you want to say. Very, he has to draw, he has to go very low to be able to hit such a thing. And I'm not going to get into it too much, but just bear that in mind before, mm-hmm. if anybody thinks of passing a get for some of these reasons, you have to have that, have that in mind. Now, over here, let's go back to what it says in this in Hilchas Gitten. If you look um, on this, if in the Bar Hetev brings it at Baz, Simereshain Hey, if somebody is Oichel Nevelis Lahachis, not Lateoven, it's Oichel Nevelis Lahachis. But he's me, or he's someone who's mechal Shabbos, not mefarhesi, only but sinner. Or a shoychet which today for meat came out of his hands. All these are kosher lechatchila to write, to write a get. The bar hetev over here in in the chuzgitin simen kufchuf gimel sefkot and dalad. The pischat shuba sefkot and dalad brings. Adds to the list of the psulim a whole new psul, a whole new psul brings from the sefer Yeshua Yaakov that when it comes to get kule alma and moide that a moiser and a malshin are possible. That's a possible to write a get. So this added the moiser and the malshin become the same. They're yotzev from Kali Yisrael. They're out of Kali Yisrael just like a mumar and a and a and a mechal Shabbos. We move to sefer. If somebody writes a get on Shabbos and Yom Kippur, if it's B'Shoigig, this get was written on Shabbos and Yom Kippur, B'Shoigig, the Shalat the Shalat the says she's Megurish. If the get was written B'Zodin on Shabbos and Yom Kippurim, she's not Megurish. Why? Because the Edom Apostle Midaraisa, and therefore the get is also Bottle Midaraisa. But on Yom Tev, if it's B'Shoigig, for sure it's fine. If it's B'Zodin, if it's B'Zodin, if it's B'Mezid, then it's only a get posel mid rabbanon and not a get posel mid iraisa. Beishmuel explains why is that so. He says in Sifkot Nuches, he says, and if a soifer writes a get on Shabbos and Yom Kippur, the soifer becomes a mummer, like a mummer. Chal Shabbos for Hesia. Ah? He becomes a mummer. Not the Hesia, he becomes a mummer. So therefore he's posel. And even though you don't become a mumor with one time, with one Aveda, the Rabbi Shmuel says, everybody knows that writing every two Aesis is an Aveda. So it's not one Aveda. He wrote a get, which is tens of letters. So for every two letters, he was over an Aveda. So he became a mumor after the first, maybe he didn't become after the first, he became after the second. When he wrote the words, uh, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's Beshabbos, it's four, four letters, it's already, two, uh, it's already two Avedas. By the time he finished the first word, he's already considered a mumor. The same thing is written in the Taz and Sifkot and Taz. But when somebody writes on Yom Tev, he's not a Mumor, he's a Rosha. And a Soifer who's a Rosha is not possible with the Raisa. But Edim or Rishoyim are Psulim. And therefore, and the, on Yom Tev, on Yom Tev, on Yom Tev, if you write, you're a Rosha, you're not a Mumor. Mechal Shabbos it becomes a, it's like a Mechal, it's like everything. Mechal Yom Tov is not the same thing. So it writes on Yom Tov is considered a Rosh, not a not 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 a not a uh, not a Mumur. So therefore, a Sefer who's a Rosh is kosher, not possible. So the get in itself is kosher, but if the Adam signed on it, Adam or a Shoyim are possible Adams. So therefore, the get is possible with the so therefore, if the get would not be signed, or if it would be signed, it would be given with Edem Mesire, and we say Edem Mesire Karsi, that's the halacha. So therefore, the get that was written by a cipher was a rasha, it's kosher. The fact that Edem, we ignore, the Edem that, 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 that gave it, or Edem was given in front of Edem Kshedim, and it was given in front of Edem Kshedim, not Edem Mechan Dar Rashaim. So the get is considered. Is considered is considered kosher. As Mechayik says, it's a forgotten new base. If the if it's only the, if the Adam signed on it, the Adam are showing becomes possible the Rabbanon. But if the Adam don't sign, that's what the Bishmol says. As Mechayik says, if the Adam don't sign on it, bechlal, and it's only given with Adam Mesiri, then it's kosher. Pischet Shuvas Sifkot and Hey brings an interesting question from the Sefer Ravida Zov and Pashas Kiseitzi. 
uh, avert on the parsha. If somebody, what happens if a cipher writes the whole get on Shabbos with his left hand? It's potter of also. He's a right hand, he writes his left hand, it's potter of also. Um, he says that if he does off, says over there, maybe the get is not bottom with it. I say it's only possible. It's only possible with the Now I'm going to go into another Nekodah, because now we're going to, since talking about Yom Tov, something which I already discussed partially in the past, but I said then I'm going to get to it when we get to this topic in Shulchan Aruch, and that is if a Soifer who is a Soifer on Yom Tov Sheini Shulgolius writing a get. A Soifer, an Israeli Soifer, came to America for Shavuos, the Marshal, or for Pesach, or for Sukkot, and on the second day of Yom Tov, for him it's Mutter, essentially, some things, it's not Yom Tov for him, a, a, a Baal who lives in Chutzlar tells him to write a Get. Is the Get considered Kasher or not? And that, so the Alt so... And that same question would be for, for a, uh, a husband who was a husband who was already Mikabal Shabbos early. Similar question would be a husband who was Mikabal Shabbos early. Love Dafka is the same thing, but we'll get to see both. Mikabal Shabbos early and the Sefer was not Mikabal Shabbos yet. The Al-Terebbe in Eir HaChaim, Simon Reish Samach Gimel Sif Chafei writes, if somebody was davening Mairev, he was Magdim, Mekabal Shabbos early, before the whole community davens. So even though he was already, for him, for him it's already Shabbos, he could tell another Jew to do Malacha for him. And he could have a noy for the Malacha on Shabbos. Why? The Alter Rebbe says, Kevon Shal Chaveri Mutter Hu, being that for his Chaver is completely Mutter, so there's no Isur Amire by you, by you telling it to him. And the whole Israel of Middle Nachri is only when when it's Asur, when it's when it's a time which is Asur the Holy Israel. And the same thing that the Rebbe says over there of somebody who keeps who continues Shabbos after Shabbos ended, he's continuing the Suda. He doesn't want to finish Shabbos, he's enjoying the Shabbos. And and uh, he could tell a yid who already said Atakhanatan to do Malacha for him. What's the reason of the al Why are you allowed to do it? <coughs> Is because for you, if if the person who is hearing the instruction is 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 a is a, for him it's not Shabbos, so then it's not a problem if he does a malachet. There's no isur amir for you to tell somebody a yid who for him it's not Shabbos to do a malachet. For you, even though for you it's Shabbos, because it's not Shabbos for, for everyone. And Kutta Zachan over there, Sifkot Nches, and Simon Reish, Samach Gimel, Atreb explains this, 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 uh, goes into a whole discussion, and he says over there, he says, according to the Taisis, the Rashba, and the Taz, which, that's the Mekoyed of the Atreb, that because the Chaveri Mutter, therefore there's no Isra Amire, he says, he says, that's fine, but according to the Ran, the Besiris of the Mogen of Ram, it's not enough. Yeah, so the Alter Rebbe then, then says, Bechlal, he says. Over there goes the whole discussion of this, of this topic. It's a long contestation. It's worth it to, to go through it when you get around to that simon. That, that, uh, that, Taka Medina Mirel Nachri is Mutter. But we have a much bigger problem. Din shlichus. Shluchay shal adam kemaisa. Yodei ke yodei. The Alter Rebbe says, Varei zek oise be'atzmai. It's as if, if you send somebody to do something for you, it's as if you're doing it yourself. And therefore, if you're going to ask somebody to do something, how can you tell somebody to do something for you when it's also for you? So the Alter Rebbe says that Isur Shlichus doesn't apply, it's metallic over there, because he says, when is there Isur? He says, the Marshal, if a guy does a melacha for you, when somebody does something specifically for you. But when 
the person does it for himself, it's not Medin Shlokha Shalom. Come on, say it's Medin Mitzay Chav Sechot. Yeah, and then I'll tell you it goes into it. It's not so, ah? If he's doing it for himself. Yeah, but he says, he says, if, if he, uh, if he, um, he says, if the Chumrah of Shabbos that he put upon himself was, he says he did not accept. He's based on the Levush. He did not accept when he when he was Mekabel Shabbos. He did not accept upon himself the Chumra, or when he extends Shabbos, that the Chumra of him not being able to ask somebody to do something for him should also apply to him. It means he accepted upon himself that he himself is not going to do any milach. So therefore, there's no is, issue of 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 din shlichus. There's no issue that no. I'll tell you the whole thing. I'm not going to get into it now because I don't have enough time for it. But the 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 maskan of Alter seems like from the Alter Rebbe is that if for him it's mutter, and that's what Alter Rebbe explains at length in the and for him it's mutter. There's no issue. There's no issue of shvus. There's no issue of amira, and there's no issue of shlichus to ask somebody. For you, it's aser to ask somebody. That for him, it's completely mutter to do to do a a a melache a melache for him. Why? Because he was only mekabel upon himself. He surim that atoli begufa. He was not mekabel the chumre of all his surim which atoli beacher. And therefore, it is. It is. Therefore, he's allowed to ask somebody else to do a a a melacha for him. Right now, what happens if a Israeli comes to Chutz Laaretz? The Alter Rebbe writes in Tov Tzadik Vav, Siv Zayin Siv Ches, the Bnei Eretz Yisrael that come to Chutz Laaretz. Even if they plan on going to back to Eretz Yisrael, they're not allowed to do any melacha in Yom Tov Sheni, as long as they're in the Yish of Yisrael, even outside the city, Mechotz Atchum, and even Betzine. But if they do it, you're not menada them, and you don't give them malchus because they plan on going back to going back to. Uh, Going back to Eretz Yisrael, in Madura Basra, Shulchan Aruch, Al Tereb writes in Sif Aleph, in Simon Aleph, Sif Ches, that Yom Tov Shein is a Goliath, the Kedusha Al Yoyin and Chutz LaAretz, and therefore Bnei Eretz Yisrael are Chayovim BeKedusha Sayoyim, which is even more than just in Al Aradu Malach. So it seems like it might be completely us. Awesome. Yeah, in, in, in Yom Tov Shein is a Goliath, but not not in Erev Shabbos, but in Erev Shein is a Goliath. Yeah, I mean, Shalos, you can't compare the two, to one to another. So, could a Megadesh in Chutz Laaretz tell a Seifer who is an Israeli who came from out of town to write a get, to write a get for him? Yeah, the question is if that's if there's a Shaila of 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 uh, of uh, shlichus, so it seems pretty clear that it's a problem. Yeah, to be mamanim, because for him, seifer the seifer is a shaila if it's aser to it's also to do melacha in such places. The shaila for the yid, it's also for a yid, it's all, it, it's an issue for everybody who's in town. It's not like the hour before Shabbos and the hour after Shabbos. It's a it's a, it's a full issue for the people who are for everybody. So therefore, it'll be a problem to. Appoint him to do it. But if he does write it anyway, so if he tells him, I want you to write a get for me, and he has in mind, it should be written the next day. He's not going to meet the say for tomorrow. So he tells him, I'm giving you a tzivu iksayv up to 100 git into you and take care of it and, and, and send the get uh, to my wife. So if the safer is planning on doing it the next day, it's fine. Because there's no, uh, no real isser on the guy to hear it on that day. But if he's doing it, if he's planning, if the Seifer actually wrote it on Yom Tev, comes a Shaila, for, for him it's not Yom Tev, comes a Shaila, if it's a Get Kasher or not. L'choyer the Get Kasher. Why? Because Lemaise, we don't pass in that he's writing it B'Shlichu Sabal. And we want to show. If he says B'Shlichu Sabal, will be a problem in Shlichet V'Aveira. Right? But we say it was Din L'Shma, L'Shma was done. And we pass in the, the Iker is like the halacha that it's, uh, that it's, uh, that it's, uh, that it's midin l'shma. 
So therefore, when he writes it on second day of Yom Tev, for him it's Mutter, the get would be kosher. Now, if it's written on a Friday and the person, the husband was Mechabal Shabbos early, before we're going to get into the whole discussion if you should write a get on Friday or not. But let's say, before we're going to get to that soon, writing a get on Fridays. But if you wrote, wrote a get on Friday, and he wrote it after the person was Mechabal Shabbos, the husband was Mechabal Shabbos, the Sefer was not Mechabal Shabbos, so then the get for sure be kosher in such a scenario. Now the Ramah continues over here after the whole discussion of Yom Tev, of uh, writing on Yom Tev, the Ramah says that you're not supposed to be Megadish Balayla. And if it's Megadish Balayla, yeah, show him that the get is possible. And therefore the Ramah says after the minion Davin's Maidiv, even if it's a long day, should not be Megadish. And the uh, Ramah tells you, go look and say that I get of the Bes Yosef after Simon Kufnun Dalet and Sif Peiches and Peites. What does the Mechaber of the right in Sif Peiches and Peites? And Sif Peiches the Mechaber says, Yes, Shaimrim, that the giving of the get has to be done by day. Doesn't say about writing. In Sif Peites the Mechaber writes, and Shasat Chak, and Shasat Chak. You could even and you could do at night even writing and giving a get, but the ksive and the sinna have to be done on the same day. So if b'shas are going to be writing a get at night, then the sinna should be done right afterwards. You can't write a get before shkia and give a get and the give give it after tzas. Chagas mechalik over here explains what's the reason for it. First, he says it only applies to the din of giving a get. But writing and signing Lakuli Alma is Mutul Balayla. Why? Because giving a get is din. Din cannot be done Balayla. But a maise could be done Balayla. But this thing, that uh, this Chumre, the Besiyasef brings it as Simon Kuflam et Vav, the Besiyasef, and says there's absolutely no mocker that Nasina's get is din, that giving of a get is din. And and therefore it's not a problem. But still, in say that I get the Bishyosef does say that yes, brings it as a yes, that it should that he could do it. But the Maise says that he could uh, that lachatchili you shouldn't. But he says b'shalat chag you could do it. And Bishmo also explains over here that it's only talking about nesinas I get, not about the writing and the signing of the get. That that's lachatchili muter even by night. But what's the marker that it's also? The Bishmo brings. He says that it's a, it's a, it comes from a Truma Sadashan. The Truma Sadashan brings the Das of the Eir Zerua, that Nesine Balayla is possible even by the Eved. That's the, that's the day of the Eir Zerua. So even though the Mechaber completely disagrees with it, at least by the Eved, the Eir Zerua says possible even by the Eved. The Pri Chodosh also, also brings the day that it says, Ksiv Vechsime, the Kuliyama Mutter Balayla. Only regarding the Sine, yeah, Vashayla. And he says that based the Mashmos of the Zerua is, it's not possible with the Rabbana, that it's Botl Medir if it's given, if it's given, if it's given, uh, if it's given by night. But he says ultimately the Bishyasef was Machriya and say that I get that. That b'shasat chak you could write and give by night, so therefore b'shasat chak is kosher. Pischet shuvas if cotton vav brings a neder bihuda, neder bihuda is machria, famous neder bihuda, that giving a get is din, and therefore the neder bihuda is machria like the oiz zerua. So the neder bihuda then explains this could be that the oiz zerua was talking about a scenario where it was Nichtav Bayo in Venechtam Balayla. They finished writing it right before Shkia, and then when the Adam signed it, it was later. And therefore, you can no longer give it Miyad Liyad, and you have to give it via a Shliach. And if you give it via a Shliach, then the Shliach comes and says, Venechtam, Venechtam, and that is a din in Kiyum. You have to do Kiyum Shtaras, and Kiyum Shtaras, the Kuli Alma is din. So maybe that's the reason why the Ur Zeruah, why the Ur Zeruah, was Mahmir, and that's why the Zerua was Mahmir even by night, even Bemokim Bemokim Igun. But maybe if it's a regular case, and the sin is not also according to the Zerua, the Buddha says, No, afterwards I found the Ra'am, 
And then the Am holds that the Erzur was talking about even the Sinem Yad Liyad is also considered a Din. And therefore, the Nadi Buddha says, I can't go against the Re'om. And therefore, since he understood the Erzurua to be Machmer, I also have to understand the Erzurua to be Machmer, even the Sinem Yad Liyad, that it is usher to do it, to do it, um, to do it, Balayla. <coughs> the Get Pasha takes two pages, as if Kotna Chafal to discuss this whole, this whole topic. And although usually the Get Pashat goes like the Bessir Yosef, and over here the Bessir Yosef in Shulchan Aruch is Bechlal doesn't hold of it. And in Say that I get, he's, he is Mako, he says, but the evidence is fine. The Arizaru actually, right, the Get Pashat of Katam Chafalaf actually concludes, he says, Lechatchilam Yad Liyad should not be done by night. But the Eved, he says, if it was already done, she doesn't have to get a new Get. Or, he says, which case is so extreme that you can write, you can give a get by night, that is a mokim igon in shasat chak. That means, what's a mokim igon in shasat chak? If you look at the Nesat Zagdelo, Zagdelo, it seems like the mokim igon in shasat chak is if it's a, if it's a shchiv meira, who doesn't have any kids, and you don't know where his brother is, so maybe she's going to be stuck without Chalitza for a long time, or Yibum. So therefore, in such an extreme scenario, you can give a get, give a get by, by night. But if a Shliach gives a get by night, the get Pasha says it's completely, he's not even, he's not Megureshes, Bechlal. Rather, the Shliach has to take it back from her, call her back the next day, and give it to, give it to her. Or, if the shliach didn't know about it and he left town, the bezin has to be mekayim iskayim b'choismov. The get has to be niskayim through the chesimus, and then the get poshut says why the mafreya to why the mafreya still works. He says he says not only giving from a shliach, even b'shemira, giving from a shliach to a to a woman. He says a problem. Even says even giving from a shliach rishon to shliach sheni. Also is the same. Also, you're not allowed to do. It also has to be by day, and not by night. For the same reason, also has to say for nechta for nechta. It's also kiyum shtaris. He says, however, if the husband gives the get to the shliach, if the husband is giving the get to the shliach to deliver to the wife, it means the get was was written when it was written, and then the husband is appointing the shliach to give the get to his wife. That nesin is muter balayla. According to the Ayur Zerua. That's how the Get Pasha writes. However, the Get Pasha concludes that even on that, the you shouldn't do it. The only thing that he's mad at is writing the Get. He says, writing the Get is the only thing that the you could do, you could do by night. The Pischei Tshuva on the Seder Get of the Mechaber, which is what I mentioned, the Sif Peites, the Seder Get of the Mechaber, tells you, come look, and what I wrote in Sima Kuf Chav Gimel. What did he write in Sima Kuf Chav Gimel? But the Night of Behuda. Right? And then he continues and he says, also, I saw in the, in, in, he says, I saw what the Get Pashat writes. From the Get Pashat, it's mashma that Lachatchila, you could only do it for a Shchiv Meira, in extreme sense. And he says, not only Shchiv Meira, the Yeshua Siakov says the same thing applies to somebody who, Oizev, Oizev Hadas, Oizev Das, the husband, is a mummer. Then the get for the wife, schus hula. It's a schus for the wife to have a get. In such a scenario, it's, it's, uh, it's the same as a shchiv meira. It's considered a shasat chak. Hmm? Why? We're talking about the shliach. We're not talking about not a shliach. Get shleiz of das or shchiv meira. We're talking about the miyad liyad. He says, and he, he says, and, and, uh, it brings from the Tiv Gitin and Shazat Chak, and if they get Mekuyim, you can also give it by night. Um, giving from one Shliach, from a Shliach Rishon to Shliach Sheini is Din, and it has to be done by day, just like the Get Pashat. And he says, then he adds, he says, all these Chumras of Balayla, even though the Ramah says that Balayla is, by, is, is even when the Shul started davening Mairiv, it doesn't really apply like that. These Chumras, that if you want to be Machmer like the Eir it's only Laila. It's only Laila Mamish. But if the shul, if, if, if they davened, if it's daytime and people daven might, if, or it's Bain Ashmash, you could be Moka, you could be Mekel and Mokim Igun Godlon, you don't have to be worried about the uh, Oir 
Oir Zeruah. However, in Seder Aget, Tmaramri, not the Seder Aget, the Vesir Yosef, Seder Get Rish and Simon Dalit, he says, Yesh le Sader Haget Bayoim Veloi Balayla. Arrange the whole get by day and not by night. It means including, which is, implies also the writing, not only the giving. And he says, if the community said Baruch Hu, like the Ramah, you're not to be Ein Lesader, you're not to be Masader the get. It means he understood the Ramah that it's not only for giving, it's also for writing. Even if all the people in the get that are of the Sefer, the Edim, the husband, the wife, none of them David Maidev. The Kav Naki, and Sifkot and Tess explains that is because yes, Shemin is like Din, we ain't done in Balailo. But the uh, Kavnoki over there says, like that, you could write Balailo. It means, given according to the Maram Ri, if it's a Shazat Chak, you could write Balailo. That's the most you can go. You can't. The sin is Mad Chashmei. And he brings, then he points out, the Kavnoki says, by the way, if you're ready, writing get Balailo, it's just want to tell you, obviously, you're writing tomorrow's date, because the night is already the following day. So you're thinking it's still Sunday, but it's really after it says now it's already Monday. So you're right, Bishani Bishabas. Ah? Ah, giving ah, he says it's din, but Lamai say he says um by day at chak you could write by night. Shut up chak. Because all the people still not. And he brings the Maramri, the Maramri wrote his own beer on Seder Aget, and over there the Maramri says that not only night night, but even if the call already said Baruch, you can't even give a get miyad liyad after Baruch, even the Shazat Chak. Yeah, that is regarding night. So the say that I get is very machmir. The Maramid is very machmir. Shazat Chak you can write by night. Today somebody didn't extend the Shazat Chak to much wider. Much wider, uh, much broader definition of Shazat Chag, and somebody didn't still machmer on it. Aside for night, and aside for Shabbos and, y- Shabbos and Yom Tev, there's other times you're not allowed to write a get. The say that I get of Madame Ri in Simon Gimel, right before he writes about Lichtev Bayoim, says, You should be careful not to write a get on Erev Shabbos and Erev Yom Tev. Yeshli Zar. Kavnoki explains why is that. The Kavnoki adds, But Chomet, you could. What's the reason why you shouldn't do it in the end of Shabbos and the end of Yom Tev? Uh, Kavnaki says over there right away. You need a lot of Yeshua Das. The Rabbanim are busy with, with busy on the end of Shabbos. And they're going to make a mistake. They're going to mess up the get. They're going to be quickly. They're going to do it quickly. But he says, the Maram Ri says, that but the evidence is motor. And it's even better than writing a get by night. And it's mutter to write the get night of Shabbos. But even then, L'Chathchila, obviously, it seems like you should not, according to my army, you shouldn't do it. Now, just by the way, it's interesting, because in Chayish Mishpot, it's mashma, that din, that an Erev Shabbos, you're not allowed to do it in Titus, it's also, it's also, it seems like it's the same problem as night. It seems like it's pretty tough. So the fact that over here, you separated the two, and the Maram Ri says, by here, only Yesh Lezor. But by night, it's different. It's Akash and, 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 and the Maram Ri. No, this says because it's going to be worried. You're going to be stressed out about it. You're not going to do a good job. But in Cholamai, you're not going to have. You're not going to have. A, you're not going to have a a a, a problem, huh? I didn't have a question. Why the why the Maram Ri says that on Erev Shabbos Erev Amtiv is only Yesh Lizor, but on on Balayla it seems like he's like he's much more strict. When I say when you look at Chayish Mishpat. Regarding Din, Mamish says pretty strongly by Erev Shabbos Erev Yom Tov also. So I don't know why the Maram Ri separated them. This is a pasuk. This is a pasuk on the Achay. Whatever. Din is pasuk on the. Yes. Saying Erev Shabbos is just a chashash. Whatever. Okay, because it's what the chashash is. Yeah. Over here, the chashash be'etzim on Erev Shabbos is a stronger chashash. You're gonna mess up the get. It's a bigger chashash than than the writing by night. Yeah, but it's not messed up. If he says it's not Din, yeah. And the Cholamoyed, the reason it says it's you don't need the, you're not makpid so much on how the, in the get, you're not makpid that the, the, the writing should be so beautiful, as also Chashash Egon, so therefore you are allowed to write a get on Cholamoyed if need be. But, and the, and the Kavanaki adds, not only are you allowed to write a get on Cholamoyed, you're also allowed to write that Ashois and everything else that comes along with the get.